Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome back for some more beekeeping basics. We're back here today at the oilseed rape apiary, right on the edge of a very large field of oilseed rape and I'll just uh, spin the camera around so you can take a look at how the plants are now in pretty much full bloom. So I'm back at the apiary to put on a few more supers. I'm going away for the BBKA spring convention over the weekend and I know that at the weekend the temperature is going to go up again and if it goes up the bees are going to get out foraging and it's quite easy for them to fill one super very very quickly with the nectar from the oilseed rape crop. So although it's still quite chilly I do need to get some extra supers on them to give them some extra space because I don't want to overcrowd them and potentially have them switch into swarming mode because they don't have sufficient space. So I'm not going to perform any inspections today, it's purely just going to be a case of taking the existing super off and putting a new super beneath it and I'll explain why we do that when we're actually performing the task. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. We're now into the start of the new beekeeping season and we've got lots of tips and techniques to share with you. And also later in the spring we'll be starting our queen rearing so it'll be good to have you along to show you how we perform our queen rearing. Also don't forget we've got our Facebook page, Stuart's Beekeeping Basics, and it'd be great to have you come along and join in the community discussions that we're having there. So what I'm looking for when I'm taking the roof off and just checking underneath the roof is lots of bees coming up through the crime board. I'm not going to smoke them initially, but I want to see if the super has got lots of bees in it. If the super is full of bees, then that's an indication that they're working the super really well and that they probably need another super over the next few days. If there aren't many bees in the super, then it's likely that they're not going to need any additional supers over the next few days and I can quite happily leave them. So let's go and take a look at some of the colonies that we've got and see if any of them actually need the extra super. So one of the considerations is that if the weather now turns cold again the bees need to be able to keep their colony nice and warm and if you add too many supers too soon then you could just be giving them a lot of extra space that they need to heat up uh, and that's not good for you and it's not good for the bees. So I'm going to judge to see whether or not they need the extra space and can cope with the extra space. And if, if there's not sufficient bees in the colony, then I won't add a super and we'll leave it another week and then check them again uh, on a warmer day. So we're not carrying out any full inspections of the brood nests today. It's too cold, but what we are going to do is just take a look in the supers. So colony number 31 has got bees working in the super quite nicely. Um, they're not really busy, but we're going to put an additional super on these anyway, um, because I think within a week they will be working this really well. So what we do is we take the super that's already on the colony and lift it off onto a super that we've got prepared with some foundation and then lift the two of them back onto the queen excluder which is beneath it. And the reason we do that is in order to get the bees to walk across the new super into the top super and that means that they'll get used to walking through it and hopefully start to draw it a lot quicker than if we put it straight on top of this one. So I'm just going to lift this off onto the new super and then we'll replace it in fairly quick time. And there's a little bit of weight in there, we can feel that there is some stores going into that. But we're not going to disturb the, the bottom box. So there we've got 
a very simple process and we've now got the bees working in the top box filling up the comb but now they're going to have to walk across the new super in order to get to this super and that means that they'll become familiar with it and hopefully start to draw the comb because they're going to need it in the near future and then we just pop the lid back on so let's go and see if we can find one that doesn't need to have a super added to it okay so this colony number 37 is very quiet let's just pop this super off and although the bees are working down in the brood box I can see that there's not really enough bees there to warrant putting on a second super so we're going to leave those bees to just the one super and you can see currently there are no bees in the super but if we get a sudden flow then you can guarantee that these bees will suddenly start working and uh, start storing lots of nectar in the super above So there we are, just a quick video to show you how we've added some supers to the oilseed rape apiary. There's just a few that we've added extra supers to. Uh, it's still early in the season, so hopefully over the next week or two, as the oilseed rape continues to flower, we'll, uh, we'll be adding more supers to the colonies here. And I'll keep you updated as we go, and also show you some of the inspections that we're doing here. I hope you found that interesting. Please do stop by our Patreon page and take a look at ways in which you can help support us with our videos. And I've put all the details down in the description below and we'll catch up next time. Thanks for watching.